One of the most significant problems we have today in our generation is climate change. One of the big issues is CO2 emissions and methane emissions. Gas Techno solves that problem. We take gas flares from oil wells or gas flares from landfill. We can take that methane and we can convert it into methanol, which is a fuel and a chemical, and take away that flare and we can install our plant right there on site and eliminate that problem. Now that is a significant solution for climate change. Okay everybody, it's Saturday night, about 10.45, November 19th. We are making methanol. This is our first night in operation after three years of development and construction. We're pretty psyched. Everything is working perfectly. We've got now about 0 0.09 feet of methanol in horizontal storage. Okay, here's where the boys are at. <coughs> Sam, Evan, and Lawrence are all running controls. We are up and running, and this is a major, major event for gas techno. We can convert natural gas, flared gas, biogas, landfill gas, anything that contains methane of sufficient quantities and convert that into methanol in a single processing step. Most technologies, in fact all technologies, that convert natural gas to methanol or natural gas to diesel fuel are three and four step processes. And what you see here in a single step process is that we have actually created a chemical process that has been housed in a 40-foot shipping container. That's a unique, significant advantage that we have. In 2013, the state of Michigan hired Ocean Tomo to study all of the patents that were published and approved in 2013. And what is significant is that out of 100 companies, they rated the most important patents from 1 to 100 and gas technologies and our patents were listed number one most valuable patents out of the top 100 companies in Michigan. To summarize our uh, production history, every three years from call it September, October, November 2010 through September, October, November 2013 to September, October, November 2016 we have developed one larger scale plant and proven the technology. And here we are today, at the end of November 2016, with the world's first commercial mini proven GTL process.